for having me. My name is uh, Preston Buckskin. I am the Agricultural Resource Management Program Manager for the Shoshone-Bannock Tribes under the Land Use Department. Um, we kind of, well, I'm tasked with, you know, managing the Invasive Species Program as well as our Range Management Program, our, our CRP programs, as well as our feral horse management and we're kind of lately it seems like we're the catch-all of everything but when it comes to our um <clears throat> um here's our mission statement of for our program but um we we're our reservation is approximately 546,000 acres and um I have one certified um, noxious weed specialist, you know, hired. And um, this year we're we're going to try some different things, but um, we've had problems with keeping an employee for this position. But we um, a lot of our treatments lately have been through work orders from the residents here on the reservation, and. Um, um but um this year we're gonna try to focus on we're not gonna you know deny the residents but we're gonna try to focus more on rangeland and on our crps as well as our fort hall bottoms areas but um so our invasive species program you know we our Fort Hall Business Council, you know, tasked us with the responsibility to oversee, educate, and provide technical support for the Invasive Species Control Program within the boundaries of the Fort Hall Indian Reservation. Um, we do have a major, like, invasive species problem out here. Um, our last survey was done several years ago, but um, we also have a new species starting to be on the rise here. It's called rush skeleton, and I'm sure folks, some folks are familiar with it, but we don't have a whole lot of info on it. And like our treatment efforts on those are just digging them up and removing them that way. Um, our invasive species program is a 638 funded program through the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Um, our our funded projects are Scotch thistle, musk thistle, Canada thistle, white top hoary crest, Russian knapweed, and Russian olive. Um, again, I said our reservation was approximately five hundred and forty six thousand acres that we're responsible for. We have approximately thirty eight thousand acres of general CRP acres, and. We try to propose, you know, that we're going to complete around 1,900 acres every year. Um, and hopefully with what we have planned this year, we'll, we'll be able to double or, you know, do a lot more than that and put a dent in our invasive species. Um, these funded projects are not the only things we treat for, though. I mean, there's several other invasives that out here that we we treat for. It's just um, like such as black canbane, puncture vine, hound's tongue, white byroni, rush skeleton, and several others. This here is based off of a survey that was done several years ago, and through the years that we've done treatments and just, you know, declining these numbers, but um, we don't know what our, what acres are infested of Russian olive. It's just, we're planning to hopefully get an inventory done in the near future and maybe get a more accurate count on these numbers. Um, currently, my, um my my employee he is working on russian olive removal project right now where we had done a um 
an internal service agreement with our wildland fire management program out here where they, they their their sawyers are cutting down the Russian olive trees and the noxious weed specialist is then treating them. This is hopefully going to be an annual agreement that we get into where you know we're we're hitting big acres with that and eliminating a lot of these Russian olives in our riparian areas and then eventually we'll start working upwards into the higher country out here. Um, some of our goals that we have for out here, you know, I said we propose 1900 acres. I want to increase that, you know, and we have the, we're also going to be um, contracting an independent um, spray company to come out and their focus will be communicating with our noxious weed specialists as well as our our range permittees who run graze cattle on our rangeland and trying to manage the weeds out on rangeland and then um we've also got an um an equip application with the NRCS and it's a three year project where we're proposing to remove 391.5 acres of Russian olive trees down in our um, riparian areas. Um, if this works out, you know, we're going to continue to do that and then start working our ways into private property areas and hopefully get, you know, more of that done. We also have our Fish and Wildlife Department. They have a stewardship program going on with some of their um, stream restoration projects that they're doing in the Fort Hall Bottoms. And their contractor is treating for invasive species within those project sites. And we're going to team up with them and try to expand that area to cover more areas within the bottoms. This year, we're going to be planning to purchase a new um, spray truck with the setup. Currently, we have a um, just a 2012 Chevy Silverado 3500 flatbed truck that you know is lifted, has a 300 gallon tank on it, and it's um uh it's got the Viper. Pro GPS system on it that, you know, will map out the acres that, you know, are being treated. We're also working on, you know, doing some community outreach where we're going to try to meet with residents or try to hold a conference with the public to educate them on, you know, invasive weeds and how to manage them to try to encourage them to take it upon themselves, to, you know, manage them within their their areas you know and um currently we used to have um mous with uh some of our surrounding counties those have since expired and they've had um change in uh leadership in their county so we're going to be reaching out this year to try to get back on having an mou so we can um you know, have more partners with helping manage the weeds out here. And like I said, we're we're gonna be applying for funding to get an invent an invasive species inventory done on the reservation to get uh a more accurate count on what we have and that way we know what we're dealing with. This here is um a picture of a site within the Fort Hall bottoms where so you can see those are Russian olive trees and um, this was before treatment. And then this is a picture of after, you know, where they have gone in and cut down all of them trees and treated the stumps. And then next year we will be um, pot burning all of those slash piles and hopefully, you know, have have those eliminated, but we're also planning for, you know, retreatment in these sites as well this is another site that's 
a little bit upstream from the last site. This was um, within a restoration site that Fish and Wildlife done back in 2015, where they had removed some uh, cars that were used as armoring the bank and but and then it's not a very good picture but you can see here where all of those trees have been cut down and treated this is a picture of our setup it's pretty outdated the only thing that is up to date is our gps system but it it's what gets us by for now um and then that's a, a Raven Pro GPS. And then we have the two, the boom sprayer on the back. It's just two, you know, bars going up and it sprays, I believe, 20 feet out each side. And he has it calibrated to where it'll uh, calculate, you know, how many acres he's doing at, at the speed he's moving along. <clears throat> and then his toggle switches to turn those booms on as well. Um, here is a uh, page on where he would make selections on his um, which product he's going to use and at what rates he'll use it at. And this page here, you know, is when he's spraying and mapping it out. That's all I really have.